In this video, we are focusing on identification of carbon dioxide gas. Carbonates react with dilute acids to produce salt, water, and carbon dioxide gas. For example, when dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with limestone, which is calcium carbonate, the salt, which is calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide gas is formed. The chemical equation is HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, reacts with CaCO3, which is calcium carbonate, to produce the salt, which is calcium chloride, CaCl2, and water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, which is CO2. We know that there are two Cl and two H on the right-hand side of the equation, so we balance the equation by giving a two coefficient for HCl. In a reaction that forms carbon dioxide gas, you will observe effervescence, which is the formation of bubbles in the solution. This is observed because the slightly soluble carbon dioxide gas escapes from the solution form. We bubble this gas into the lime water through a delivery tube. Now, lime water is calcium hydroxide, which has alkaline properties. If you recall, carbon dioxide gas is actually an acidic gas. Hence, carbon dioxide gas will actually react with calcium hydroxide to form a salt and water. So in this chemical equation, CaOH2 is actually calcium hydroxide. It reacts with CO2, which is carbon dioxide. Salt and water should form. So CaCO3 is the salt form, and this is calcium carbonate. And H2O is water. Now this chemical equation is balanced. Now the white precipitate that you see is actually calcium carbonate, which is an insoluble carbonate. If you allow more gas to pass through, you will realize the white precipitate actually dissolves. What is happening here? Now when calcium carbonate further reacts with carbon dioxide gas, calcium bicarbonate, also called calcium hydrogen carbonate, is formed. The products from the first reaction CaCO3 and H2O, they will actually react with carbon dioxide to form calcium hydrogen carbonate. Again, this chemical equation is balanced. Now, this compound, calcium hydrogen carbonate or not calcium bicarbonate, is actually soluble in water and it forms colorless solution. Hence, you will notice the white precipitate disappearing if you allow more carbon dioxide gas to bubble through. Now, in summary, like many other gases, carbon dioxide gas is colorless and odorless. So, how do we identify it? Now, when it is formed, we should observe effervescence. We bubble the gas through the lime water, which is an alkali. If white precipitate is formed, we confirm the gas is carbon dioxide, which is an acidic gas. The white precipitate is insoluble calcium carbonate which is the product formed from an acid and alkali reaction. Now, if you further bubble through more carbon dioxide gas, you observe this white precipitate disappearing. Now, this is because further bubbling of carbon dioxide gas will form a soluble product, which is calcium bicarbonate. Now, if you find this video useful, like the video and share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.